Alright, we're back again. I'm Donnie. And I'm Ryan. Uh, we're RIP Paranormal Investigation. We're out here in the old logging camp again. At a different location in it. Alright, we'll get to you. Um, we're going to try the uh, Ouija board session tonight. Uh, different style of using it this time. Um, it's been pretty active when we were setting up. Uh, uh, during the setup, uh, there was actually a loud crash over to the left of me. Looks like it's telling you yes. And if you see the Ouija board, the REM pod is actually on the yes, the K2 is on the no, the Obelisk 3 is on the alphabet to speak to us, and then we're recording our session. Alright, can you wait? Yes. So, uh, we're gonna go ahead and play play at the board for a while to get some more questions. The person that's coming through right now, his name's Paul. Is your name Paul? If so, say yes. Light up the rim pod for us. If your name's not Paul, light up the K2 for the now. Is your name Paul? Okay, so when we setting it up, uh, he said his name is Paul, and that he's up here on a bicycle. So Paul, if you're here with us, can you come speak to us? Is there anybody want to come through the board to speak to us? And just a reminder, I did open up my board off camera. What did it say? Video. Yeah, we do got the video set up. You are being videoed on this session, so... Like I said, once again, if you guys want to come and speak to us... The black box with the red on top with the lights, the rim pod is on the S. The K2 is on the no. If you touch K2, it's going to light up to red. Is it compound? Is Paul still here with us? So if any spirits are out here that want to speak to us, you can come on in. Can you tell us your name? And just let the TV viewers know that we do have a uh, motion sensors behind me and we also got motion sensors in front of me so if uh, you want to walk towards us you just walk through the motion sensor and it'll break the beam and it'll make a chime go off said records Mommy?
If you're Mel, can you light up the S? Is the recorder going? I don't see the light on. Yeah. I've already had it on. Sorry, I just didn't dust the light. If that was you, you can light up the yes again. Is it common? So once again, I just like to remind the two viewers, Ryan, that the Ouija board ain't a game. So if you don't know how to open it and close it, you shouldn't be using it. Which, uh, you know, I, like I said before, I took my demonology class, which I studied the Ouija board and learned all everything about it. So that's why I use it. It's actually a good tool for paranormal investigation. Um, seems to be more. You get a lot more active answers and stuff through it. So is there anybody here that wants to contact with us? If so, remember you got your yes and no. And you can speak to the obvious, which it's going off like crazy tonight. What kind of work did you do? Were you a logger? The wash. Once again, we usually take kind of a long pause to let the spirit actually build up energy so it can communicate with us. If you are here with us, can you walk through one of the motion sensors either behind me or in front of me and set the chime off? Salt. So if you remember, Brian, we were setting up the board. Where when I was setting up the board, it said Paul and bike. Yep. Uh, it's kind of interesting. I'd like to know: Was he like on a a dirt bike, bicycle? Was he actually hurt up here, killed up here? Yeah. It said down. So, Paul, if you're still here, 
we'd like to communicate with you. If so, can you give us a yes answer or speak to us the obvious or even on the uh, digital recorder? Can you tell us something? You told us your name and you were on a bike. What kind of bike was you on, Paul? Was it a dirt bike? Were you on a bicycle, a mountain bike or something? Paul, if you are here around us, can you make some kind of noise that's loud enough that we can pick it up on the mics and also on the camera? Just I can't see what it says. Indirect you. And if there's any other spirit out here that wants to come and communicate through the board, you can. If there's anybody besides Paul, can you tell us your name? Sent. side. Are you here now on tree train? Yes sir, I heard it twice now. Alright, I'll stand up to take a look really quick.
If that was you, can you do that again, please? I'm not seeing nothing out there. Huh. Can you get it up to the blue just so we know it's you? Once again, I'd just like to let our viewers know that we are out in the forest once again. So we do gotta check on each noise we hear out in the woods because of bears, cougars, deer, elk. Oh, you can't tell. Other kind of stuff. Paul, was that you that was communicating through the yes to us? Was it somebody else that was communicating with us? If so, set the rim pot off. If you're female, can you light up either the yes or the no? Just note to myself, that's a plane flying over. So I'm gonna go back and listen to the digital recordings. Usually the obvious tree is pretty quiet. Yeah. It's really gone off tonight. And once again, the obvious three, I look for stuff that has to do with the area that we're in. Uh, sometimes just throws random words out. It's a business. Is that you, Paul? Or somebody else?
So whenever my board's open, we usually don't introduce ourselves to it. But I will ask whatever spirit's on the board, can you say one of our names? That one. I don't know. What did that say? Um. Oh, just some random word. I just thrown out. Just thrown out random stuff again. No, Ryan, it said run, but don't take off running now. Uh, I guess I want you to run from your uncle. Good to know. Yeah, next time you see your uncle, you better take off running. him. <laughs> Who's ever out here with us, we'd really appreciate it if you walk through one of our beams and break break it so it sounds the buzzer off. That'd be kind of cool to get on camera if you can do that for us. Which I never thought in a million years you'd be sitting out in the middle of a forest playing with a Ouija board, huh? No, I can't say that I did. <laughs> it's kind of cool. Especially hearing these sounds that must not be out in the woods. Yeah, like that the part crashing. of a trip. That one just said shoot, and there was somebody earlier down there shooting. Yeah. Rabbit. If it's possible, can you tell us how old you are? We'd really appreciate it. If you're in your 20s, can you light up the yes?
Are you in your 30s? Are you in your 40s? So you're in your 40s? If you're giving us a yes, can you light it up to the second light, please? That one just popped up 15. Okay, so now we got a female name named Carol. Hmm. Carol, are you here with us? If so, the black box, the red lid, the red top is a yes. The K2, the gray machine over here is a no answer. If you're here with us, Carol, can you let us know? Sounds like she is, buddy. said Don. I didn't say Don. <laughs> Our uh, Don. Is Don here? Or are you talking about me? Carol, can you tell us how old you are? Carol, are you in your 20s? Are you in your 30s? Are you in your 40s? If you notice, my hand ain't nervous near that. Yeah. Because you gotta be like right up on it. Spy master. Spy master. Carol, if you're in your 40s, can you please light off the lights again, please? Are you in your 50s? Uh, 
It's a surprise. Huh. Kind of surprise we're gonna get now. All right. Possible surprise. I like surprises. Especially if the surprise involves food. Carol, were you in your 50s? Did you hear that noise again? Uh -huh. Yes. Well, Ryan, I don't think it's the pizza guy coming through the woods. Yeah, I don't think it's the Little Caesars guy. Yeah, we're talking. We're talking to you guys and talking amongst ourselves. Surprise coming from the east. Another random word. Paul and Carol, are you still here? If so, can you come and either break one of our motion sensors to set the chimes off and walk towards us? Or can you give us a yes answer or a no answer? Sounds like there's walking. What direction are you hearing it from? Back this way. I keep leaning in and trying to strain my ears to hear it, and I can just barely hear it coming from on the other side of us. What did it say? Felon. Paul, was you a felon, or Carol, was you a felon? Well, let's reword that. Paul, were you a felon? If so, can you light up the yes or the no? Paul, is that you saying yes? That you had some kind of history? We don't care about your history, Paul. We just want to get to know you. Walking again. Mm -hmm. So do observe.
hear that behind us? Yeah, I heard that. Dang, that's going crazy. She ought to open more, Paul. I feel like a total different, uh weather condition. Yeah, it's getting a little chillier. If that's you, Paul, can you back away and make it quiet for a minute? Please? It's a now. <laughs> huh? It said now. Yes, Paul. If you can back away from it now. I almost wish I knew Morse could. Did I just say code? Yeah. Are you trying to talk to us in Morse code? I guess you know if you want to kiss. No. Are you in some sort of trouble, Paul? I've never seen the REM pod go off like this. Not the way it's doing it. It's like he said, it's like Morse code, but. Paul, if you can communicate through like the digital recorder to let us know what you're trying to say. He said, shock. Are you in shock that it's working? <laughs> kind of. <laughs> Almost what would happen if we got off the spirit box instead of the ovulus. Yeah, we could try that. Maybe give him a little more freedom to say what he wants. Yeah. I mean, keep the board out, but I know we've used the spirit box on here before. It seems to be repeating itself in a pattern. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and take a break and I'll have to get the spirit box out of the case and stuff. Then we'll, uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and close down my board. I'd rather do it off camera and then All right. I'll use a spirit box and see if we communicate with Paul. Hang on a second.
battery. Are you trying to drain my battery? All right, guys, we'll be right back. We're gonna shut my board down and we'll get the spirit box out and try that. Paul, we'll be right back, okay? All right, so we're back. Uh, we closed the board off. We got the spirit box out. Got the REM pods up again. The KT's up. We're gonna go ahead and do another EVP session on this part of it. So I'll again start that. us. box I usually introduce myself on this one hello my name is Donnie and I'm Ryan Paul if you're here can you come and speak to us through the ghost box so we know what you're trying to tell us If there's anybody else out here who has anything to say, come speak to us also. <laughs> We're not here to ask you to leave. We're just here to get to know you, so we're friendly. I think I just saw the K2 go off a little. If that was you, can you make the K2 go off again? So just so the spirits are here with us, the KT all you gotta do is come up and touch it and you can make it change colors. We ask that you try to go up to the brightest color, the red one. The rim pot over here, all you gotta do is come up and touch it. And it does that. The more you touch it, the louder it gets. Or you can actually come in to the spirit box and talk to us. Or you come into the digital recorder and speak in there for us. And we also got some motion sensor set up behind us and in front of us. You can walk through it and it said chime off to let us know you're here. Can you tell us your name?
clearing it out in those bushes. Are you male or female? Can you repeat that? No, nobody wants to talk. Uh. Waiting on you, friends.
is Carol here? All of a sudden got quiet. Now I'll go ahead and end this TVP session. Kind of weird to do this. Go with some kind of Morris code, but yeah, Tom we'll be right back, and you're like bounced. Yeah, that's very weird. I mean, and while we were on our break, we looked up SOS, and it almost sounds identical to what was happening over there. So it's very curious. be a lot easier if I uh, okay, got a last name for Paul. Yeah, much easier than we could have done some research. I like, do you know the name of the shred, so. Yeah. I guess we'll go ahead and end this one. All right, It's late, man, and I'm getting tired. Yeah, I feel you. I just, tonight just feels like a different energy usually we're upbeat but i don't know tonight just feels not bad definitely not bad but just a little different but you know i'm really like i said i'm just super super curious to see how that rem pod footage turns out to see if that does correlate with the sos because it really does sound like that was morse code because it kept repeating itself yeah then take that pause and then start all over again yep and like I said, on that little last break, I reviewed a little bit of the SOS Morse code, and it sounded similar to that. But I just... Yeah, all right, buddy. Well, I say we end a session and call a night, and we'll go over that footage, and go, I'll go over the EVPs in the morning. And see if maybe you get something on the digital recorder. There you go. All right, brother. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Oh, and uh, let's not forget to thank our sponsors real quick. Yeah. Yeah, I thought them it wouldn't be possible. I mean, Northwest Extreme Trucks, Will and Angels Adult Foster Care, uh, Classic Auto Repair in Staten, Psychographics in Staten, we appreciate your guys' help to make this show possible and helping us get to our new locations and stuff. Um, like I said, if it wasn't for you guys, we wouldn't be out doing this. True story. Thanks for thanks also to CCTV for yeah, CCTV letting us put our show on the air, getting it to you guys. And like once again, if you got a place that you think might have a haunting or some kind of paranormal activity or if you've seen Bigfoot if you've seen UFOs or aliens you can contact us through Facebook RIP Paranormal Investigations uh, like I said before go give us a like share us with your friends and don't hesitate to get a hold of us if you guys got some kind of paranormal going on or if you even got a spot that we can go check out, let us know. And we'll be more than happy to go do it. True story.
All right, guys. Well, till next time. Yeah. Thank you.